Uh, it's Paculus here. I hope you're surviving okay in our week, whatever it is, of our lockdown. Um, I know it's really tough for a lot of people, and I was listening to a therapist on a podcast the other day. One of the things that she mentioned was the importance of structure. And I thought, yeah, that's really true, right? Because the horses, we're very lucky, right? And if you have horses, you're lucky too, that the horses provide routine for us, right? Because they they expect to be fed at a certain time. They expect their stalls cleaned out at a certain time to get turned out at a certain time. So my life hasn't changed that much, really. I don't go anywhere anyway, you know. And, and so for me, it's not that different because the structure, the routine is still in place, you know. Um, but I think for a lot of people, I have friends that, you know, they say if it's Monday, if it's Tuesday, if it's day or it's night, you know, they're just really messed up with it because it, everything feels the same, you know. And uh, this therapist said, and I think she's onto something, right, that it's really important to keep that structure in your life whatever way that you can, you know. And the other thing she talked about, which I thought was really cool, was um, a sense of community where she mentioned uh, she knows a town now, it was in the States somewhere, so where, where you guys might be warmer than where we are right now. But um, anyway, they all the families decided that they go out to their driveways and they draw chalk drawings and things on the ends of their driveways. And then the neighborhood organizes a walkabout and all the families keeping their physical distances and stuff. But they go around and they check out everybody else's drawings. I thought that was a really neat idea. It kind of gets people out and about, a sense of community without, you know, risking anybody, right? The other thing I think that's really helpful to um, keeping your sanity in this time is to, you know, there's a reason they call it grounded, right? Like if you can get outside and uh, like literally stand on the ground, like just get outside and be in nature a little bit. There, You know, it's easy to kind of feel when we're in this situation that everything is unreliable and changing all the time, right? And everything is just... Um, there's nothing you can count on in life when, when, when it, there's so much change like this, right? But if you go outside, you know, and you can hear the birds chirping and you can, you know, if I go around to the front of the property right now, I could see the, um, the crocuses are coming up and the daffodils are coming up, right? And it gives you a sense that everything's going to be okay. Like everything is still, all the things that you can count on in life can still be counted on, even with the seas of change that just keep coming at us like this, you know? And I just think it's important at this time. I don't want to be Pollyanna or anything, but it is important to keep your mental game intact, right? Because who knows how long this is going to go on and who knows what the end result will be. But as I said a few weeks ago, worrying yourself sick about it doesn't seem a, a great way to pass the time, you know? Like, I think it's important to to try to find positive things, right? Like, I, I, I wish the news would do it more often. I was reading something last night, that, and I think that they said in New York right now, the um, people being um, discharged from hospital is a bigger number than the people that are getting brought in. They're, they're saying that maybe that malaria drug might be working a little bit, and there's a university, I think it's Pittsburgh, that is talking about maybe having come up with a, a little bit quicker with a vaccine, which is fantastic, right? Like it wouldn't be ready yet, but it's not 18 months away. It might be, you know, less time than that away, right? So there is some positive coming out of this. And I think it's important, if you can, to try to um, be careful who you hang out with during this time. Like, you know, if there's a lot of negativity in your news feed, or if, you're, if you have friends that are really scared all the time, maybe try not to spend too much time talking to people like that. Like, here's my choice tonight. You see, I decided to take a walk with my friend here. He's pretty positive. And guy. him and I just decided to go for a walk tonight because sometimes you just need to get outside and actually, you know, touch the ground, right? <laughs> the senior consultant at Harrogate would like to just say, don't worry too much. This too shall pass. Pebbles has seen things in his life. He's 35, you know, and so <laughs> when he tells me things are going to be better, I'm going to believe him. Remember to thank your horse or your pony, and we'll see you next week. Thanks.